So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another video, another web series I should rather say, in which we'll be exploring machine learning with JavaScript. Now, JavaScript is the popular thing these days, not only on web, but also on other platforms, whether it's server, whether it's for creating mobile applications, whether it's for creating desktop applications and so on. And with the advancement in machine learning, it is actually now possible to use machine learning as a technology with JavaScript. So we have TensorFlow.js as one of the major libraries, one of the most popular libraries for doing ML stuff with JavaScript. So we would be exploring how we can do machine learning with TensorFlow.js. And trust me, machine learning is something which requires a lot of, you know, a lot of attention and a lot of learning, but with the advancements in machine learning, it is very much possible to use ML without actually being an ML engineer. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if you want to implement some sort of machine learning functionality or machine learning feature in your application, maybe you're creating, um, I don't know, a voice to text application, then you of course know that you have to implement some sort of model which does that work for you. But do you really need to know how does that work? Not really, unless you are into research and, you know, you want to spend your time reading articles and papers and, you know, actually going down to the metal how it works. You won't need to know how it works under the hood, right? Just like you don't need to know a lot of things about how they work deeply under the hood. So with this TensorFlow.js, our aim would be basically to use machine learning with JavaScript, implement machine learning, but not get too emotional about it, that how, how exactly things are working. Of course, we would be understanding to a certain degree how things are working, but sometimes, because this is not a rigorous ML course, we would be focused more on the practical part, that is how we can use ML to do stuff instead of how ML is working in itself as a whole. And I think the practical part is pretty interesting then the theory part that's what i believe for some of you theory is more important but for me it's better to you know see the results see the ml in action see how it can how we can use ml to actually create better applications so yeah that's kind of a kickstart video so that would be all for this one if you liked it don't forget to subscribe because it is very important you subscribe and press the bell icon because there would be videos out on ml soon so i don't want you to miss them so that would be all for this video. If you liked it, again, don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one.